Hey YouTube, I went to uh, Roush Creek with Offroad Consulting. This is Trail 37. It is a blue trail at Roush Creek. We are on the northeast property uh, in the afternoon. So this trail um, is going to lead us toward uh, Tip Top. Uh, Tip Top may not be the very next uh, trail that we hit, but it, it'll be one of the next uh, ones with this trail. It's like uh, one of the blue trails that will we'll get you in that direction. So a lot of this trail, when I look at it, I'm not really sure why it's um, rated as a blue. I mean, literally, like, a lot of this kind of looks like a gravel road. My assumption is they ranked it as a blue because there's probably some blue obstacles somewhere on this trail. So you can see um, this trail is pretty wide. Um, I don't think there's going to be any kind of challenges on uh, even what can fit on, uh, through the trail, at least through this section. Um, it looks like even like you know full-size pickup trucks could easily fit through here on uh, Trail 37. The other thing you'll notice is I'm leaving lots of space between the vehicle me um, in front of me. Um, that's a, a thing that you should try to do um, if you're new to, um, to going out. Um, always leave lots of space. That way the other person can stop and they can back up or, um, you know, you have space to be able to, to do what you need. I mean, don't, like, lose the other Jeep, but uh, space is always, a little bit of space is always a good thing, it seems like. So there was an obstacle that I went over. Very tiny little thing. So Tip Top is one of the more well-known uh, blue trails in the park uh, on the northeast side, and that's uh, actually one of the trails that actually has a name. Um, it seems it's kind of odd. Um, most of the trails at Roush um, are numbers. I'm not really sure why they do that, um, but they have numbers, and so it's, it, for me it's terribly difficult to remember um, the trail numbers because they're all kind of like numbered. There's numbers. Um, if they had some kind of like name surrounding um, the trail name, it seems like it would be a lot easier for me to uh, remember like what what this one is or what that one is. People all the time ask me, you know, about trail numbers at, at Roush, and I, I never know what they're talking about. <laughs> I'll be totally honest. Um, I, I just, you know, I don't go to Roush enough. But even when I do go to Roush, um, you know, if they say Crawl Daddy, well, I know what that is. You know, they say, or if they say Crucible, I know what that is, and I know what the um, those trails are that actually have names. But if they just rattle off some number, um, I, I don't know what it is. So here's some obstacles. They're probably, um, you know, blue obstacles. But uh, there's only a couple of them, and they're really widely spaced. Um, I'm intentionally going over them to make it a little more kind of interesting. Um, but you know, obviously, you could just go around them. So, um, so anyway, like I was saying, I mean. Um, I, I, I think it'd be a lot more interesting if the trails had names instead of just numbers at Roush. Um, but I'm sure they have a uh, rationale on why they numbered off the trails and only, like, only gave them numbers. I mean, AOA is the same way. We have a lot of trails at AOA that have numbers on them too. Um, but a lot of the, the main trails have names. And, you know, maybe these have names and I just, you know, they didn't put the names on the map. Maybe that's what it is. Um, you know, like I know Yellow Jacket has a name and Tip Top has a name and a lot of the Reds have names, but. You know, maybe they just didn't bother with uh, trying to come up with the names for all the blue trails. So this right here, um, this looks a little more like blue. It's still, you know, pretty wide. It's not as wide as um, some of the trails that we were on earlier today, but it's still like, I mean... It's not like challenging where you think that the mirrors are going to touch any of the uh, the trees. And there's water again. Um, that's one of the things kind of interesting about Roush. It seems like almost every one of their trails has some sort of water obstacle on it. Even if it's just like a little puddle or something like that. Um, there's lots of little kind of puddles of water here and there at Roush, and uh, you don't see that at AAA so much. 
Um, at AOA, usually like it's either all water or, or no water. <laughs> um, you don't just see a trail that just randomly has a little water obstacle in it all the time. So these obstacles here that we're going on, I think they're probably larger than the camera's making them look. Um, the camera has a tendency of doing that, it always makes things look like super, super um, easy. You know, but uh, at the same time, I don't, I don't think these obstacles are um, incredibly large either. Um, but, you know, they are, they are obstacles of some kind, so I mean, I guess because of that little section of the trail it needs to be um, a blue trail. This large rock that you can kind of see on the right hand side that um, we're just kind of going around, it's a really large obstacle, and everybody just completely went around it. I was actually thinking maybe it'd be kind of cool to try to go over it, um, but I didn't want to slow down the whole group, um, be, you know, because everybody was just sort of cruising and, and uh, you know, going around all these obstacles. It's so like here, everybody went to the right of the tree. I decided to go to the left of the tree because there was actually some interesting things to kind of go over. Um, probably some people behind me ended up going left when they saw that I could, that you can go left. Um, so, I mean, that's, you kind of see that a lot where, you know, you have an option where there's an obstacle that you can play on. But, you know, you also have the option of just skipping all the obstacles. So this is like Trail 37, like I was saying. Um, it's in the northeast uh, part of Roush Creek. I think, I believe this is the end of Trail 37, and I believe we are cutting on to a, another trail right about here, or another, uh, yeah, Route 81, or we're near Route 80, oh, well, um, when I said we're near Route 81, Route 81 is back there in the background, that's what you see, I'm um, going back and forth, we're, um, on the edge of the park near Route 81, so if you look at the big map, um, Route 81 is obviously one of the highways that goes, um, around Rosh Creek. So I believe that Tip Top is going to be the next video. Um, I think so. I'm not 100% sure. Um, like I said, I don't, I'm kind of learning the park. So anyway, please like and subscribe. Thank you.